In today's video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about how to prep a wood surface for mosaics. And I'll do all of that in two minutes or less. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. Let's get to it. Welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we discuss specific mosaic projects, tips, tricks, adhesives, and materials, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. There are plenty of acceptable surfaces for mosaics, but today we're going to focus on wood. It's widely available, it comes in so many thicknesses and types, and it's relatively inexpensive. Even driftwood and an old wood shingle are acceptable. But no matter what type of wood you choose, you need to make sure that you treat that surface so that your tile, stone, glass can adhere properly to the surface. Prepping your wood surface is a simple yet necessary step in the process of making mosaics. You spend so much time creating your mosaic, you want to make sure that once you adhere it to the surface that it's going to last. Not preparing your wood surface can result in your pieces popping off or your grout cracking or both. And to prepare your wood surface, you probably already have all of the supplies needed. So what you'll need is a regular just box cutter blade. And if you don't have a box cutter, a regular blade works fine. You'll need sandpaper or a sanding block. Just a standard paintbrush, and the size will depend on how big of a piece of wood are you sealing. I'm sealing a small piece of wood, so I have a smaller paintbrush. You'll also need white PVA glue, which could include Elmer's, or I'm gonna use Weld Bond today, and you'll need just regular water. I'm mixing a small batch. I've just got a disposable cup and a wood craft stick. First, you want to score the surface, and we're gonna do it in a crosshatch design. So I'm gonna go in one direction first. It doesn't have to be neat and organized. We're just creating a little groove for the adhesive to grab onto. And I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna go over it again to create that crosshatch. We're done with the blade. The second step is to take your sandpaper or your sanding block and just lightly go over the area where you, you just went over it with the razor blade. Doesn't have to be totally smooth. We're just trying to get off any of the little loose pieces, any of the loose splinters. Okay, looks good. Our next step is to mix the PVA white glue with a little bit of water. You want to go for a four to one ratio. Four parts PVA glue to one part water. So yes, basically we're watering down the glue. If you don't for whatever reason have white PVA glue, you could do the roll-on polyurethane. In the past I've also, in a pinch, I've used spray-on polyurethane. Those work as well. Okay, so I don't have very much in there as you can see, and it's not gonna take very much water. So I just put a little bit of water in, stir it up really well, and then it's ready to be brushed on. My advice, brush it on, let it sit, it'll take an hour or less to dry, and then flip it over and do the other side. You wanna make sure that you also get your sides. Brush it on, liberal coat, you want to make sure that you get into all of the little nooks and crannies of the wood. Like I said, you're going to let it sit and dry, and then you're going to turn it over and you're going to do the other side. There's no need to do more than one coat. A little piece of advice, if you are going to paint the sides and back of your mosaic, I would strongly recommend that you do that before you even start tiling. Whether you're grouting, whether you're not grouting your final mosaic piece, it makes your life so much easier if you paint the sides and the back before you get started. I'm curious, what is your favorite surface to work with with mosaics? 
let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. So what you'll need, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the blade was closed. Bless me. Oh. Ha <laughs>